Hey, welcome to Jason Rev's show, the Golden Globe nomination portion of the show. <laughs> Anyways, if, like always, thank you for uh, coming and watching the show. If you want, you can subscribe down there somewhere, the subscribe button, like, share, all the above. So I'm going to go through and read all the uh, Emmy nomination or Golden Globe nominations, sorry, and then I'm going to uh, respond with if I've seen them or not and what my opinion is. Okay, let's start. So the Golden Globes are going to be on uh, when are they? When are they going to be? February 28th. Wow, February 28th. Okay, wow, that's late for them, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Sunday, February 28th. Okay. Well. Oh, it's February already. Yeah. Wow, crazy. Years just flying by. Okay, so for television, best performance by an actor in a television series, musical, or comedy. Don Cheadle for Black Monday. Nicholas Holt for The Great. Eugene Levy for Schitt's Creek. Jason Sudeikis for Ted Lasso. And Rami Youssef for Rami. I have only seen all of Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso was awesome. I'm going to do a podcast... Uh, soon talking about what I've watched during the pandemic, and I'm going to go into length about Ted Lasso. I think everybody should watch Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso is what you need to watch in 2020 because, you know, it's been such a crap year for everybody. Ted Lasso was fantastic. Ted Lasso lifted you up. It makes you laugh. It's funny. It's, uh, yeah, it, it was a great show. But I think Shit's Creek's going to win this one. I think Eugene Levy's going to win. I think Shit's Creek's going to dominate because... It's the last season. Everybody loves the shit out of that show. I'd like it to win because it's Canadian. I'm the Canadian, so I think it's going to win. Let's go on to the next category. Best performance by an actress in a television series, musical, or comedy. Lily Collins for Emily in Paris. Kaylee Kuko for The Flight Attendant. Elle Fanning for The Great. Jane Levy for Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. And Catherine O'Hara for Schitt's Creek. I think it's probably going to be Catherine O'Hara, although I personally want Jane Levy to work for to win for Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist because I fucking love that show. I think it's awesome. I'm glad it's nominated. It's rocks, but I think it's going to be Catherine O'Hara going to win. Best performance by an actor in a television series drama. Jason Bateman, Ozark. Josh O'Connor, The Crown. Bob Odenkirk, Better Call Saul. Al Pacino Hunters, Matthew Rice, Reese Rice, I don't know, for Perry Mason. I've seen some of season, I've watched season one and seen some of season two of the Ozark. It's a good show, but it just frustrated me. Never watched The Crown. I watched Better Call Saul. I think it's amazing, and Odenkirk is fucking awesome. Um, Hunters, I've watched all of. Great show. Al Pacino was, was great in it, yeah, but I don't know if he'll win. And Perry Mason, I have not watched yet, but I intend to. Best performance by an actress in a television series drama is uh, Olivia Coleman for The Crown, Jodie Comer for Killing Eve, Emma Corrin for The Crown, Laura Linney for Ozark, and Sarah Paulson for Ratched. I've never watched Killing Eve or The Crown. I've watched Ozark and seen Lily. Uh, watched some of Ozark, as I said previously. And I've wa tried to watch, I watched the first two episodes of Ratched. I just was not into it. But. That being said, I think probably Sarah Paulson will win, although Killing Eve is very popular, so I don't know. Best performance by an actor in a limited series or motion picture made for television, Brian Cranston for Your Honor, Jeff Daniels, the, the Comey rule, Comey rule, like a Comey rule, Hugh Grant, The Undoing, Mark, Ruff Mark Ruffalo, I Know This Much Is True, and Ethan Hawke, The Good Lord Bird. Wow, I've seen none of these, but I've heard good things about Brian Cranston in your honor. The Hugh Grant one was supposed to be really good, too. I don't know. Hmm, that's a very good acting category. Wow. Okay, move on to uh, best performance by an actress in a limited series or motion picture made for television. Kate Blanchett, Miss America. Daisy Edgar Jones, Normal People. Shira Haas, Unorthodox. Nicole Kidman, The Undoing. Anya Taylor-Joy, The Queen's Gamut. I did win, watch The Queen's Gamut, and I hope it wins, because it was fucking awesome. I loved The Queen's Gamut. I thought it was so well done. She was amazing in it. She was amazing. 
Best television series drama, The Crown, Lovecraft Country. The Mandalorian, Ozark, Ratchet. I don't even need to read it anymore. The Mandalorian, although I don't think it's going to win because sci-fi and sci-fi stuff rarely wins. But it is the Golden Globes, so possibly The Mandalorian. I've heard Lovecraft Country is good. The Crown, it's been around for, eh, it's supposed to be a good season. Ozark and Ratchet, I'm going to go with The Mandalorian. Yes. Even though it has no acting. <laughs> no acting awards, nominations. Best television limited series or motion picture made for television. Normal People, The Queen's Gambit, Small Axe, The Undoing, Unorthodox. I'm going to go with The Queen's Gambit. Yeah, it's a, people love that show. And it was very good. Best performance by an actress in a supporting role in a series, limited series, or motion picture made for television. Helena Bonham Carter, The Crown. Julie Garner, Ozark. Annie Murphy, Schitt's Creek. Cynthia Nixon, Ratchet. I'm going to go with Annie Murphy, Schitt's Creek, because I think they're going to sweep. Best performance by an actor in a supporting role in a series, limited series, or motion picture made for television. John Boyega, Small Axe. Brendan Gleeson, the Comey, the Comey Rule. Daniel Le Dan, Dan Levy, Schitt's Creek. Jim Parsons, Hollywood. Donald Sutherland, The Undoing. I love a fucking great list of people. I think it's going to be Schitt's Creek, Dan Levy. Best television series, musical or comedy. Emily in Paris, The Flight Attendant. Schitt's Creek, The Great Ted Lasso. I wish Ted Lasso would win, but I think it's going to be Schitt's Creek's year. Film. Best motion picture, musical or comedy. Borat, subsequent movie film. Hamilton. Well, Hamilton's up for it. Music, Palm Springs, and The Prom. I've seen fucking none of these. I'm a huge movie guy, and I've seen none of them. I'll, I'll probably watch at least. I could well, probably watch them all, but Hamilton, maybe? Hamilton was beloved. Best motion picture drama, The Father. Mank, Nomad, Land, Promising Young Women, The Trial of the Chicago 7. I've heard a really good things about uh, Mank. And Promising Young Women, I guess I'm going to have to start watching me some movies now. Without having theaters open. Yeah, well. Well, I've seen none of these, so I do not have an opinion. Best Motion Picture Foreign Language, Another Round in Denmark, La, Lo La, 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 La Reina, Guatemala, France, The Life Ahead, Italy, Minari, U.S., USA, House oh, okay. Two of Us, France, U.S., Best Screenplay, Promising Young Women, Mank, The Trial of Chicago 7, The Father, Nomadland. Best Original Song, I'm going to skip this one. <laughs> Best Actor in a Supporting Role in Any Motion Picture, Sasha Baron Cohen for The Trial of Chicago 7, Daniel Kaluuya for Judas and the Black Messiah, Jared Leto, The Little Things, Bill Murray on the Rocks, Leslie Odom Jr., One Night Miami. I've heard awesome things about One Night Miami, so I'm going to go with Leslie Odom Jr. I do intend to watch that. Best Actress in a Supporting Role in Any Motion Picture. Glenn Close in Hillbilly Elegy. Olivia Colman, The Father. Jodie Foster, The Mauritanian. Amanda Seyfried, Mank. Helena Zengel, News of the World. You know, maybe Glenn Close. I don't know if she's ever won a uh, Golden Globe, but she... I don't think she's won an Oscar. I don't even think she won the Oscar for the wife that that other year. I think it was Olivia Coleman beat her for it. Best actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy: Sasha Baron Cohen, Borat, subsequent movie film; James Corden, The Prom; Lin Manuel Miranda, Hamilton; Deb Patel, The Personal History of David Copperfield; Andy Samberg, Palm Springs. I'm going to go with Lin-Manuel Miranda for Hamilton, even though I have not watched it yet on Disney+, Plus, as I should. Best animated... I haven't even seen any of these animated features. Wow, I'm a horrible movie fan this year. Best motion picture animated. The Crude's A New Age. Onward. Over the Moon. Soul. Wolf Walkers. I've seen none of them. I've heard Onward's really good. But I think Soul probably going to win. Soul. Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama, Chadwick Boseman, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Riz Ahmed, The Sound of Metal, Anthony Hopkins, The Father, Gary Oldman, Mank, Tahar Rahim, The Mauritanian. I've not seen any of these either. Wow. Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama, Viola Davis, Miss Rainey's Black Bottom, 
Andre Day, The United States versus Billy Holiday, Vanessa Kirby, Pieces of a Woman, Francis McDormand, Nomadland, Carrie Mulligan, Promising Young Women. Ah, I've seen none of those. Um, wow. Best Actress in a Motion Picture Musical or Comedy, Maria Bakalova, Borat, Subsequent Movie Film, Kate Hudson, Music, Michelle Pfeiffer, French Exit, Rosamunda Pike, I Care a Lot, Anna Taylor Joy, Emma. I've not seen any of them. Wow. Best Actor in Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, Sacha Baron Cohen, Borat, Borat, Subsequent Movie Film, James Corden, The Prom, Lin Manuel Miranda, Hamilton, Deb Patel, The Personal History of David Copperfield, Andy Samberg, Palm Springs. Did I read that already? Is that a double? Huh. Yeah, they double posted here. Weird. Okay. And then Best Director, David Fincher, Mank, Regina King, One Night Miami, Aaron Sorkin, The Trial of Chicago 7, Chloe Zhou, Nomadland, Emerald Fennel, Promising Young Women. I'd like to see Regina King win because she's awesome. So, yeah. I've seen <laughs> no movies this year. It's horrible. So, I'm going to have to fucking, yeah, wow. Uh, okay. I'm going to I'm gonna have a lot of movies to watch. To, so that I can have an opinion on some of these. So, anyway, that is the Golden Globe Movie Talk with Jason Rev on the Jason Rev Show. Everybody, please have a good day and go see movies. Well, don't go see movies because we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Stay home and watch movies. Support your streamers. Have a good one.